What's going on, everybody? Triple Crown 24 back today. Hopefully, this is not recording live on YouTube right now. This is the first time that I am using uh, StreamYard as a recording feature. It looks like we're safe, um, but I'm recording this on Saturday afternoon. I'm going to release it on Sunday while I'm actually at Card Show, the first one I'm going to be set up at since the pandemic hit. So, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's exciting to be able to go back and, and get to it. Uh, hopefully it's going well for me right now. Um, but I wanted to really just say thank you for Hoppy Palooza. Um, for those who have participated already and for those who will participate come Sunday, which is today. Um, we have a pretty good lineup again today. And particularly with my stream on Friday night, it was more than I could ever imagine it would be. Um, I knew that there was going to be a lot to handle. That's why I brought on a co-host and, uh, my co-host as a lot of you pointed out to me privately and even publicly too, absolutely knocked it out of the park. Um, Ken from beans, ball card blog. He was absolutely fantastic. He, you know, it, without him, this wouldn't have been as successful and as smooth as it was. I really didn't even have time to be, you know, involved and engage with the segments themselves and get to hear what the interviewees were saying. Um, you know, I, I heard them, but I didn't really, you know, hear them. If you catch my drift, where I'm really absorbing the information, and to me, that was a, uh, it was just a fantastic experience, and I'm glad that it went as well as it did. And you know, of course, we couldn't have done it without the guests that we had come on. Uh, and then the whole point of it was to raise money for COVID-19 relief uh, through the charity that I had chosen. And I'm proud to announce our final amount. There was a couple of donations that came in after the stream, and there might even be a few more. Um, if you want to, you can go back to the original video and go to the link there to donate. I also have it uh, right here. It's the link if you want to donate on your own. Our final amount raised was one thousand six hundred fifty dollars, uh, and uh, I, I think that day one of Hobby Palooza was an absolute success. And I'm recording this before day two. I was just watching the tops panel. I'm about to go watch Eloy the Goat Flores while I do some work here, and it was absolutely. Um, I'm sure those guys are going to be fantastic as well. I'm sure that day two is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to make my second appearance. Uh, I did not appear more than once yesterday, by the way. I know that some people might be mistaken by that, but get your facts straight, please. Um, but back on subject, I think that there, there's a very large variety of people who are going to get involved in this. And it's, this is what the community is about. Um, and there might not be more evidence of that than just the overwhelming support. Like this number right here, I've told myself before the stream, I was having a conversation with a few people, you know, what are, what are you hoping to do with this? Well, I said $500, if we could do that, I think that would be awesome. Uh, and you guys more than tripled that. And that's not me. You know, I donated about, let's see, I believe it was 130 was my final donation total. I donated the 100 minimum that I said I would. And then three out of the five prize winners asked for me to forward their donation as well. So I went ahead and made those this morning. Uh, to go along with it. So that kind of brought us to our total here. Technically only two of them today. One of them was yesterday, but you, you get my point. Um, and I I just, I can't, I can't put into words how grateful I am. I, I wrote out a post yesterday uh, in the YouTube community Facebook group about, you know, just thanking everyone. And I I did tear up a little. I will, I will openly admit that. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't full on sob or anything. I just, uh, there, I, my eyes were a little uh, heavy, if, if you will, with uh, you know some moisture. So um, it, it just really warmed my heart. And I, I was going a mile a minute yesterday, uh, kind of just going through everything. So I want to talk a little bit more about the charity and kind of what you guys did donate towards. And if you do want to donate yourself, well, you know what it is. So Curtis Granderson is one of my all-time favorite athletes. Uh, he is an absolute class act. I've met him on several occasions. And not just a great baseball player and a great humanitarian, but just a generally nice human being. I don't know if you could say a bad thing about Curtis Granderson. He is just 
one of the nicest people you could ever possibly meet. He is a role model. He's a great ambassador for the game. I know that he is he retired as of the end of last season, but he continues to be connected outside. And look at all these different programs that he has here um, with all these different things. There's health and nutrition. There's uh, literacy and education. There is just general camps benefiting kids and then as well as just special events that they do. They have so many different things that they're a part of. And this organization is just fantastic. And you can see here uh, kind of the overview of what our donations are going to be going towards is revolving the COVID-19 situation. So this is going to be, um, this paragraph right here is particularly telling. 30 million children rely on school for food, and with schools closed across the country, these children are extra vulnerable. Millions of families with school-aged children will lose up to two free meals a day resulting in a significant demand increase from hardworking families in need of emergency support. And uh, <clears throat> he's partnered with all of these organizations here. So you've got the food bank, the NYC New Food Bank, you have the Greater Chicago Food uh, Depository. You have a few other uh, more, you know, not as local organizations as well. So really a lot of different outreach here. And for us to raise $1,650 yesterday, uh, it's going to do a lot of good. You know, I, if $500 would have done a lot, if we had met that, I would have, you know, felt fantastic about that. Even if we came up short of that, I would have said, you know, we did some good today. Uh, but we did this in just under an hour. This is what we did this with. Um, I do need to shout out two particular donors individual. Uh, who went way above and beyond, and that would be Baseball Collector Mike and Jeremy, Jeremy IPTTM, who both decided that they were going to match the total amount raised by all of the donors, including myself. Um, and that, that was a lot. That was a lot that they donated. So pretty much every donation that we had come in was, I could automatically triple it as I was updating it throughout the stream. Um, it's, it's incredible. So, I mean, if you, if you donated $10, that $10 donation was really a $30 donation. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to shout out here the rest of the donations we had. We had Bob Lewis, Canadian cards, Bowman 53, who won our blowout gift cards giveaway. A big thank you again to blowout cards for sponsoring, uh, yes, or I guess now it's Friday's video, uh, Schmidt collector, Dustin and Blake. Breaker Culture, Stove, Reese ND, Card Ranger, Mike W. I'm not going to, I'm sorry, Mike, I'm not going to try your last name. Uh, I know I, I butchered it yesterday, um, but Mike W., thank you. Cardi C, uh, Ken's Cardboard, James P., Kenny Garcia, Mike O., I Collect, Ichiro, uh, The Broncos 79, and Alan T. Uh, all of you. Thank you so much for your contribution. And thank you to everyone who participated. Thank you to all of our guests. Um, some of you said that you would like to see Kin back on as a, in the role of a co-host. That is definitely on the table, um, something that I'm really going to look into and try to see how much we can incorporate him into future episodes of the podcast. Some of you said that you'd like to see some of the collectors on here again. And uh, pretty much everybody on that list b Roth and uh, I Click Teacher, we've already had on the podcast, but they, um, more likely than not, I will invite them back at some point in time. And as for the remaining super collectors, they are definitely um, slated to be on at some point in time. I know that uh, Amish Dave Archer will be the next guest. We're going to take a closer look at his Josh Johnson super collection sometime here in August, uh, as well as... Um, Wade Boggs fan. We're going to probably try to get him on here. If not in August, it'll be September. Uh, and then just keep rolling out the podcast. Uh, as well as more super collectors as well that we didn't get a chance to cover um, throughout the show. So that's that. Um, I, I Again, I, I cannot express how grateful I am that everybody who got involved with this did. Um, it's just incredible. It is, it, it's difficult to put into words uh, how grateful I am, really. I know I keep repeating myself, but I really want to you know, push that across as much as possible. Um, and just, you know, you, 
everybody who participated, no matter what capacity you participated in, even if you just came and watched to support the stream, you uh, you contributed. And I, I want to thank um, the crew over at BenchClear who have kind of put this on uh, the Hobby Blues in general. They've kind of facilitated it a lot um, for giving me the opportunity to come on and, and have my segment and allow me to raise this money for a cause that is very near and dear to my heart um, and participate themselves and, and try to get people involved with it, you know, hype it up. Uh, it definitely would not have been successful if I had tried to do this on my own. Um, so a, a big thank you to those guys for kind of helping me provide the platform. I know that it was done on my channel, but they really did um, provide the platform to make this what it was. And you know, to everybody who donated as well, once again, thank you so much. I, I cannot say that enough. Um, you're probably sick of me saying it, but I'm going to keep saying it. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I, I needed to make this video today to at least say that. Um, and also to, to hype up Ho Hobby Blues at day three. I think we're going to have a lot of fun here to wrap things up. It's been a great social experience. I've been hooked on it. I have not gotten much work done, or at least on Friday, I didn't get much work done. I'm going to have to push myself today on Saturday when I'm recording this, and Sunday I'll be at the show, so I, I kind of have no choice but to do some work. Um, but you guys are you're making these videos so much fun that it's hard for me to kind of turn away and get done what I need to get done. Um, but I, I'm definitely going to go back and, and watch the archives of the streams that I have missed or am going to miss today uh, during my time uh, at the show. But yeah, this has been this has been phenomenal in a word. So some mail really quick to wrap it up. If anybody who came over uh, as part of Hobby Blues and has subscribed to the channel, because I know quite a few of you did subscribe to the channel yesterday. Uh, thank you and welcome aboard. Uh, I do have three additions to my super collection of a couple of shout outs really quick. This is from Steve over on Instagram and I'm gonna pull up here uh, his name. I can't remember his Instagram name off the top of my head. I don't wanna get it wrong. Uh, it's Max Wax Packs uh, on Instagram. So go check him out. I know that he comments on the videos as well, too. So he sent me this Major League Material Relic. It's number two, 150. So big thank you to him. And then Ryan from RBD Cards hooked me up with this uh, 2020 Series 2 player coin here of my man, Miggy. And then I got in my 30th one of one today. So this was something that I picked up because uh, I, had, I had a really good sales week last week. Um, on eBay, so I decided that I would go ahead and just treat myself to one, you know, semi nice card because uh, I sold the card I kind of didn't want to, <laughs> um, and uh, got this one for the PC. So this is my 30th one of one now of the big man. One of one, you can see it has the uh, majestic logo patch there from Triple Threads. I always love my Triple Threads. You can see it here on the back. So. It's, uh, yeah, so it's, it's great to have a new one of one in the collection as always. This is number 2380 for me as well. So that's that for today. Again, longer video. I say that every single time I record a video, it seems. Um, perhaps I should donate a dollar every time I, I say that because then we'd, we'd probably double the amount raised. <laughs> but thank you so much again uh, for participating. And uh, later this week, I'll kind of be back to regular content. I should have a card show recap probably tomorrow, what I'm going to do. And then later in the week, I have an eight-card PSA submission reveal. So that's going to be kind of what I have coming up this week. Maybe one more video as well, but you guys have had a lot of content from me lately, so probably uh, just kick it back, and i got to catch up on some work too. Um, so I'll just be washing more than I'm, uh, than I'm making, um, which is a good thing too. So thank you again. Be sure to uh, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. And uh, thank you. Have a good one.